today we've released our unclassified assessment uh, detailing with high confidence that the Syrian regime carried out a chemical weapons attack that killed uh, well over a thousand people, including hundreds of children. Uh, this follows the horrific images that shocked us all. This kind of attack is a challenge to the world. Uh, we cannot accept a world where women and children uh, and innocent civilians are gassed on a terrible scale. Uh, this kind of attack threatens our national security interests uh, by violating uh, well-established international norms against the use of chemical weapons, uh, by further threatening friends and allies uh, of ours in the region, like Israel and Turkey, and Jordan, uh, and it increases the risk that chemical weapons uh, will be used in the future and fall into the hands of terrorists who might use them against us. Now, I have not made a final decision uh, about uh, various actions that might be taken to help enforce that norm, uh, but uh, as I've already said, uh, I have had my military uh, and our team look at a wide range of options. We are looking at the possibility of a limited, uh, narrow uh, act that would help make sure that uh, not only Syria, but others around the world uh, understand that uh, the international community cares about maintaining this chemical weapons uh, ban and norm.